All right, guys, this is an update on our almond agaricus grow we have going here. And these are the pasteurized fuel pellet bags we made. If you want to see how we made them, uh, you can watch it in our pasteurized fuel pellet tech video. But we're about two weeks in on the colonization here. And five of the bags are looking like this one here. Uh, pretty much fully colonized. Uh, you can't, it actually looks like it isn't in certain areas, but it is. It's just very wispy colonization. But you can see the top is completely covered, fully colonized, and now this mycelium is just gonna thicken up and look whiter and whiter. So I'm not ready to put that in the garden yet, but that is pretty much covered in mycelium. We have one bag that, and this will happen to you guys, when you're mixing spawn in, you might not get, get the spawn mixed as thoroughly. You don't get it, uh, you don't get even colonization. You can see I have some uncolonized substrate on the top of this block here. So one often debated theory is uh, de to shake or not to shake. Uh, if you have sawdust blocks that are kind of stalling out on you, should you shake them or not shake them? What I've found is that it depends. <laughs> like everything, there's gray areas. Uh, it depends on the species of mushroom you're growing. If you have a really aggressive colonizer, like, uh, like oyster or lion's mane or turkey tail or something like that, don't shake them. Just let them run because it's going to get there. It might just take a little more time. The thing is, when you shake a sawdust bag, you're always running the, a little bit of a risk, at least, of uh, contamination. Because you're mixing everything up. If you have one little mold spore in there, it's going to proliferate. Because uh, you'll actually weaken your mycelium when you shake it. And that, that mold will take over. And it'll mess, mess your bag all up. But what I've found is with certain mushrooms... And I've actually never seen this mentioned anywhere with almond agaricus, but I just found this out in my own experiments. Uh, it actually will stall on you when it gets to this point, and uh, it'll take forever. And you might actually get some contamination from not shaking just because this, uh, this uh, uncolonized substrate is going to sit there for so long. And yeah, so this almond agaricus has a tendency to stall out. So with this, uh, you know, I'm always doing the pasteurized tech. So sterilized, if you do sterilized sawdust, you might be running a little more of a risk of contamination. But every time I've shaken a bag with, a, with this pasteurized process, I've, I haven't had any contamination issues. And it'll actually, with certain species of mushrooms, it'll stimulate the growth to really kick off and start ripping again. Um, this is the case for wine cap, uh, the strafaria. And uh, also with bluets, I found, and this almond agaricus definitely responds to a shake really well. So it actually, what this is going to do is it's going to kind of mix everything back up in the bag. And this mycelium is going to just be, it's going to wake it up and it's going to jump off and this bag will be colonized really quickly and it'll catch right up with these other ones. Long story short, it depends on the species. Uh, if you're growing one of these species that likes to kind of stall out on you, like uh, the wine caps do, or the almond agaricus, or the bluet sometimes with some strains, go ahead and shake them because it actually seems to stimulate the mycelium into really taking off again and ripping through the substrate. So I'm going to set the camera up and I'm going to shake this bag and uh, then we'll come back and see how it does in a week or two. All right, so here's our block. We're gonna go ahead and shake this up. I'm gonna use the same process that I used uh, when we did this the first time. And basically just gonna shake and roll. So, break everything up. Always try and get the any substrate that sticks in your gussets up here near the top. You don't want to leave that up there. Try and shake that back down on the black. Um, but that's it, guys. You can see now this thing basically looks like it has no colonization. We're back to sawdust. But uh, all that mycelium is still in there. It's just been disturbed. And uh, this almond agaricus is just going to explode through this again. So we'll check back here shortly, and we'll see how it works out for us. We're back and it's been about a week since we shook our bag and uh, I put a little S here on the one that we shook and again this is our almond agaricus and uh, you can see that the mycelium has rebounded nicely 
and we went from very little to no colonization on top to a nice fully colonized block in about a week and this is one that I didn't shake just for comparison here and so you can see within a week after the shake the uh, almond agaricus mycelium caught up and uh, this bag is nice and colonized now so again uh, if you're uh, if you're having a bag that isn't doesn't really want to colonize and uh, just isn't isn't uh, you know it's lagging behind uh, your other bags because maybe you didn't get enough spawn in there on accident and uh, especially if you're working with these species that respond well to the shake uh, go ahead and shake them because it works this is proof right here all right so I'm going to show you we have our uh, garden planted already this is where these blocks are going to go now I'm going to let those blocks colonize another couple weeks um, but uh, this is where we're going to end up burying them right here this is one of my garden beds and you can see I got plants coming up here um, I got rows of lettuce and arugula I think that's arugula right there and more lettuce coming up here this is dill. It's going to be dill right there just coming up. And these are actually collard greens back here. And I've uh, worked this in. Uh, I worked in a bunch of leaf compost and composted manure, composted cow manure into this bed. Actually, both of my beds. And uh, so that should be good food uh, for the almond agaricus spawn once we inoculate the beds uh, this is my other bed here I don't have anything planted in here yet this is going to be probably tomatoes peppers cucumbers uh, the only thing I've planted so far is uh, sugar snap peas and you can see the uh, sugar snap peas are coming up nicely there so uh, we're gonna let those blocks go another week or two and then we're gonna go ahead and inoculate our beds and we'll go from there 